What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about adding autosave draft records to your Rails application. So if you've ever used Gmail or other email services or even Medium for writing blog posts, that have an autosave feature, those are very handy. You can type out your post or your email and it will autosave so you can have that draft available until you want to publish it. Medium even takes it a step further, allowing you to have drafts for things that are already published. And so that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode. We're gonna build a stimulus controller for autosave functionality, and then we're going to build the backend for our drafts. So that is it, there's a lot to cover and we're gonna cover this first part on the stimulus controller. And the second part will be handling the drafts on the back end with a separate model called draft. So let's go ahead and create a new Rails application. And we're gonna be using the jumpstart template for this just so that we have bootstrap and devise already installed for us. But none of that's really relevant to this episode. So just keep that in mind. You can take all of what you're learning and apply it to an existing Rails app um, or a brand new one as well. So we're gonna call this one, let's say just auto saver and it's gonna go ahead and create that application and namely it's going to install Webpacker. We're going to want Webpacker so we can add stimulus um, once that application is generated. Now that our app's created inside the directory, we can run rails webpacker colon install colon stimulus. That's gonna install the stimulus support for webpacker and generate a hello controller for us. And we're just gonna rename that hello controller to autosave controller. 